Welcome to Eccentric Nature, I'm Eric Hayden, and today we are exploring the historic Lowesley Gardens. It's located about three miles southwest of Guilford in Surrey, and we've been here multiple times now, and once you see this place, you'll know why. It's awesome. This is a 2.5 acre walled garden that was originally created in the 1500s and then revamped by Gertrude Jekyll right around 1900. In the first area, you're gonna find a massive rose garden that touts an impressive 1,000 rose bushes. Oh yeah. They're a little out of season at the moment, but uh, still some nice blooms out and around. And once you get in here, right off the bat, you're gonna start noticing the peaceful, reflective feeling that this garden was set up for. Can you feel it? Oh. I could feel it. While it does have a little bit of that traditional British organized chaos feeling, in this walled format, it really kind of works. There's lanes that lead to hidden areas with benches and fountains so you can just sit and enjoy. It's really well designed. Good job, Gertrude. Well, the house and gardens have been featured in a number of prominent films and series, including most recently the miniseries Sense and Sensibility in 2008 and Emma from 2009. The film The Special Relationship in 2010, the house was also featured in the Netflix series The Crown, and the Oscar-winning film The Favorite was partially shot here as well. I mean, the bees love this place too, and how can you argue with a place that bees love? Really, come on. There is also an extensive herb garden. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say herb garden? Hold on. Oh yeah, that's it. Nice. That's what I like to see. Oh yeah. Happy little herb garden makes me so happy. Ooh. Oh yeah. Say, where are those darn birds when you need them? Just give me one good shot of you fabulous fluttery beasts. Come on. Bring forth the birds. <laughs> They have this whole wonderful um, vegetable garden here as well, which is really impressive. They got uh, all different kinds of things from squash, apples, artichokes, berries. I mean, yeah, just a really cool how they have these different areas and different sections set up with different things in them. So flowers in one section, roses in another section, the herb garden area in one section, the white garden, and then this vegetable medley area. The farthest area of the gardens is known as the White Garden, and it was built with the idea of peace and tranquility in mind, so you could just hang out there to your leisure. And let me tell you, it certainly lives up to that feeling. And the fountain area certainly helps with that peaceful, happy feeling too. And to expand on what I said earlier, the whole pattern of Lowesley Gardens really exudes a peaceful harmony. I could see writers wanting to hang out here and wanting to work out the problems of their novel, Philosophers wanting to work out the problems of the universe. Or YouTubers wanting to work out how to grow their channel by getting wonderful people like yourselves to like their videos and subscribe. Go ahead, click the like and subscribe button and feel that profound sense of peace and tranquility taking over you. Ah, it's nice, isn't it? Whoa! I'm sorry, did I disturb the calm? My bad. Apparently, they also rent out the gardens for weddings and events, too. So if you want a special place for that special event, you definitely have a winner right here. So there's this moat area that's not terribly attractive, but it's got a lot of really cool lily pads in it. And there's some nice birds that usually show up around this area, so that's cool. And you can see a little bit of the overview of the outside of the gardens here and get a better idea of the actual layout of it. And this massive mulberry tree is reputed to have been planted by Queen Elizabeth I. The Latin inscription in the drawing room of Lowesley House actually translates to As the tree dies slowly, the fruit dies quickly. Kinda creepy and <laughs> And actually during the Second World War the tree actually fell but 
as you see, it lives on today. Well done, Melberry Tree. And just a little bit on the house itself. The current house was built between 1562 and 1568, with the stone actually being brought over from the ruins of Waverly Abbey. And this house was replaced by a smaller one, which Elizabeth I apparently declared was not adequate for her to visit. And so she requested something much larger to be built. Oh, well, hoity-toity, Miss Lizzie. Hey, if you like this tour, then you should watch my Wisley Gardens tour, or the tour of the Prague Gardens next. Otherwise, please, take care of each other, be kind, and find yourself a peaceful little corner to enjoy a serene moment of meditation and reflection. And if you can't find one, head on over to Lowesley Gardens. <laughs>